Metro always puts a smile on my face, Swerve. It is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. Welcome to the only show about Spartan Dogs, hosted by Spartan Dogs. This is Sparta MSU. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, along with my co-host, my dog, Cedric Swervin Irvin. <coughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> this is your first time. We want to welcome you to the show. This is not the first time. We thank you for your loyalty. And, you know, look, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons because that helps us a whole lot. Doesn't cost you a thing. Just don't forget to click that thing. It helps us, man. And follow us on all of our social media platforms at This is Sparta MSU. Let us know where you're watching from. I mean, Hawaii is definitely in the house. Woody, Woody was here about seven o'clock. Okay. Woody, guys, I gotta commend you. And, and Raven was right there behind him, okay? In, in oh, Opelousas. Opelousas. You know about that down the south, man. Yeah, look, yeah we got that, that's Mississippi. No. <laughs> sound, sound like it's in Mississippi. No, it's the boot, baby. Oh, okay. Hey, baby. <laughs> Y'all go down to Claiborne Street, huh? Yeah, all of that there, you know. <laughs> Look, and this is, you know, this is uh, the merchandise time. You know, 20% of all, off, all of this is part of MSU merchandise for orders over $50. Don't forget to check out all the new basketball attire for the NCAA tournament that's coming up in a couple of days. You got to have your stuff ready for that. Go to check it out on thisisspartamsu.com. Get your orders ready. Swerve, you got some on the way. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. One thing about me, Strave, it's free is for me. <laughs> free 99. It, it wasn't good. free for somebody. I, we got to thank we get credit where credit is due. That's Steve Smith, man. You got to thank Steve for that. Oh, Steve the man. Steve the man. Steve always been the man. Yeah, man. It came through with that. You put the request out there, and then boom, here it is. And look, you know, there, there's something we got to talk about for a second, though. There are people that have been asking, where's Otis and where's JU and all that, man? Look. It's very difficult to do this every week. Two shows a week, week in, week out, for 52 weeks a year, which they have done. But they also have families and young kids and a lot of things that they have to do. They're not gone anywhere. They're still brothers with us. But, you know, right now, we just got to keep rolling. We got dogs. That's all we need. We got dogs in the house, and we're bringing you all the material and the content that you thirst for, that you want. Whatever you guys talk about, we respond to. And we want to give you more of the same energy, if not more, than you always have been accustomed to. So, Swerve, look, man, I think you're doing a phenomenal job, brother. You know? Man, come on. Anytime you need Swerve, Swerve going to be here. I, I, I got all the Swerve dogs. Is here. It ain't no any t- Swerve is here, by the way, everybody. I, I, I ain't got no, all the a trial dogs, run. You know, Swerve is here. So get used to it. <laughs> yes, indeed. I hope the people want me to be here because I want to be here. It's always feel good to be wanted. I always tell my kids, go go where you want it, not where you need, not where you need, go where you want it. That's right. That's right. Be love to be the one that's, that loves you, not the one you love. Whatever. You know how that works. Right. It works. But getting into the big topic of discussion this week, man, we got to talk about them boys on the hard court. MSU basketball punches that ticket. Number nine seed. They're going to be facing Mississippi State. Over in Charlotte, North Carolina, Swerve. Man, how Ooh. about that? Let's dance. We got to dance, Trey. You know, I, I want to go back a few days because we played a tough. I thought we was going to pull it out. You know, them guys fought. But I think if we can play like that, we got a shot. We got a shot to get to 16, if, if you ask me. Mm. Just with that effort alone that we played with the big guy in the middle of the heat. 28, 9, and 12, whatever you had. I mean, oh, if you get that, they're going to win every time. But mm-hmm. we fought, man, and just fell short five points, man. So I salute the team, but let's get our mind right. Let's time to dance, like you say, baby. Let's dance. Yeah, buddy. You know, you're talking about Zach Eady. There's only one of those in humans on the planet right now playing college basketball. It's seven right. foot four, 325 pounds, and the rest don't want to call foul on the guy. So as long as you don't have to play him, we only have to play him in the final four, probably. So yeah, I think I like their chances. You know, we're going to talk to uh, MSU great a little later on in this show, too, and see what his thoughts are about MSU basketball. Do we have Tom Izzo's reaction when he finally saw that MSU earned a spot at the, in the dance? 
We'll see that. It was the greatest Oscar moment in MSU history when you see it. <laughs> Do we, he the done greatest been, Oscar moment? Oh, come on. He done been to the dance over and over and over. Right? So you see it like you, but I, told, I text him too. I said, hey, great job of fake crying. You, you almost fooled me. That's you almost fooled me, coach. You did. You was this that good. You don't believe him. He was worried. You don't think he was worried a little bit? Hey, he been twenty five years. He been every. I mean, come on, sir. I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, you're not for not. If it would have been Howard down the street who who not working no more, it would have been different. You know, he ain't been. Yeah, but, yeah. but it's though it, it's no it's no it's no final four of a Sweet Sixteen. Hey, go right here. Look at watch. <laughs> They are in at 21 and 13, facing the nine seed, Michigan State. Yeah! See how he was turning red, right? Yeah, he yeah, did he turn was, red. He, did. Yeah, he was trying to make it come, but he knew life like it. I knew I was going to get in. I mean, come on. Man, he did say in some interviews after that that he made some calls that night because it was getting a little hot and heavy, man. You know, he was told they were not going to be in Dayton, Ohio. He knew that. So he didn't know what that meant. Did that mean so they weren't going to be in the play in? Right. Either you all the way in or you all the way out. Right. <laughs> it's time to dance tomorrow. I mean, not, not no more Thursday, right? Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. I mean, look, 26 straight extends his Big Ten record, if you think about that. The third most in NCAA history. But Tom Izzo, man, like, what can you say about him? And he is the only coach to ever put together that many straight NCAA appearances by himself, ever. Why not call him Mr. Consistent? Yeah. That's what I would call him, longevity Mr. Consistent. Yeah. You know, he, he, he and, and he doing it with, you know, the last two years, years with lesser talent. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know a, a lottery pick or, you know, I, you know, no more Flintstones and the, and the Jay Riches of the world. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Zach Randolph's. Ah, he been putting them, the pieces together. You know, the, the the fight at the end, and you know, you got to give him his congrats, him and his staff. Congratulations, man. Without question, I miss the consistency. Is what Tom Izzo is, and it's rubbing off on the ladies, man. The ladies, Robin Fralick and the women's basketball team, punched their ticket. They're number eight seed. They went over to South Carolina to face Girl. North Carolina. Coming south. <laughs> There's a lot of lot of Spartans over in the Carolinas right about now. Hey, I, long as I'm in the dance. You, you want me to dance down south? You want me to dance in the Midwest? Just bring your dancing shoes and, and Spartan, let's dance till we can't dance no more. <laughs> Let's see their reaction. Do we have that ready for us? Man, it looked like, hey, swear it looked like she was hyperventilating, man. She was serious. So, straight, let me ask you something. So, now is every team. Doing the waiting game like that, like it's some teams that get together and their name not called. Oh yeah, it happens. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah, it happens. You know, I think some of the teams wow. that know for sure they ain't going may not have a pizza party, but there's some that are on that bubble that mm, it's rough. Wow, man, imagine that. Man, I, hey, that was me. I'd be in that side, I'd be throwing chairs and all types of good <laughs> You can't, act, you can't act the donkey. Hey, if you don't get beat, you gotta the, lose. You gotta my teammates more. and coaches better help me throw chairs and everything, man. <laughs> so the both teams number nine. No, so the men are number nine seed, and yeah, I yeah, they are both number nines. That's right. They're both nine seeds. I thought the girls were on the eight line. You're right. They're both yeah. nine seeds. Yeah, just call it ninety nine. This is the year of the ninety nine, baby. Let's get it. Right. Who's going to get further in the tournament? They can't, they can't complain. They both going to face North Carolina. If, they, if they're going to continue, they're going to end up facing North Carolina. The men will if they get past Mississippi State. The women are facing them right away. 
starting off with him. Coach Fraley is the first coach in MSU history to lead the women's basketball team to a tournament in their first year as head coach ever. And this is the first time Michigan State has gotten back to the tournament in for its 19th time in school history, but the first time since 2021. Ooh. Man, it's been a drought. Hey, I, I wonder. I wonder. If coach got a, a bonus in the in the, in the contract. You know? Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely. She got a bonus. So I think I need to tech. I got a phone. I, I usually c- communicate with her by text. I want to see if she'll throw the show a couple of dollars. You know, because we, we can do that. Nah, it's, right. it's a bonus. Why not? You know, we give you a shout out. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a bonus. Give us a shot. Give us a couple few dollars. That's all we ask for. <laughs> not much. Just a few, a few hundred. I mean, she got nil to worry about. She got to do some of that, you know? Come on, on straight. That's all. I'm just trying to make it make sense, brother. I'm trying to make it make sense. You know what I mean? We supporting you. I just ask that you support her. Just get a few dollars. Yeah, that's all we need. Kyle, what are you talking about, man? It's not if but when, Stray. It's not if but when. You talking about when they beat them? Is that what it is, Kyle? I like the positivity. Make yeah. it rain, swerving. My man, Kyle. Kyle Kyle's on one today. Look, Kyle, he swear to make you laugh for no good reason. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Steve, listen. If you if you ain't smiling in life, what are we doing? <laughs> Come on, man. I wake up every morning smiling, Steve. Yeah, you do that. And that, and your future is bright again, even at night. Michigan I State. I, 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 I'm going to start sleeping with these things on, baby. <laughs> Michigan State is one of two Big Ten schools that have both programs in the dance. Now, how about that? You know, I mean, this, this is rare. You know, you, you kind of take that for granted. But look, that's a big deal to have both programs in the dance. It's big for the brand awareness all over the country, man. And it, it can help other sports, including football. So who's the other school? That's a good question. I don't know. Is it Iowa? I know it's not Michigan. Is it Northwestern? It's definitely not Michigan. Michigan. No, no, it ain't, it ain't Michigan. That's a good question, man. You got we got. You know what? I know who's listening right now. Miss Dean, my baby, Miss Dean. Tell me who's the other Big Ten school that got both men and women basketball in a tournament. Miss Dean, you got two minutes. (laughs) Nebraska, cat. She got it. She got it already. Nebraska. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There it is, right there. Katrina Johnson. Call a cat. Yeah, I call it KJ. Hey, KJ. <laughs> See you on top. Oh, I'm telling you all the time. Hey, Cal, we appreciate that. The collection plate is passed around again. 1999 from uh, uh, Mr. Cal Farah. Once again, we appreciate oh, it. See that I mean? 1999 go a long way. You know how many cigars you can buy with 1999? Depends on what city you in. Some, they don't want to get you one. <laughs> You're right about that, especially in the land. Yeah. But we go down to Miami, we can get you at least three or four. <laughs> three or four cigars. For 1999, okay. trust me. Okay, I got to get that swerve discount. Man, let's talk about them boys on that ice real quick. Man, men's hockey had a big game over in Mud Ice Arena the other night on Saturday. I watched, that was one of my first games watching on TV, man. I'm watching Mud. I'm watching hockey because I love it, man. I went there the other day. And I said, man, I can't – against Ohio State, 2-1. to one. They two won. One. Now they're in the finals for the Big Ten Championship coming up. Man, hey, what you think about that hockey team? Adam, man, Nightingale, yeah. coach has got them rolling. He should be coach of the year, you ask me. And I'm not biased, even though I want to – I need a jersey, coach. I need a jersey so I can wear on the show. But uh, you're my coach of the year. This is the first time I really tune in to hockey. Oh, yeah. Gotta be. Uh, who who else could it be? You but know you know mean? what? I want to say this, man. I know we, we we football players and basketball players. We 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 just swear we the best athletes. But man, put put on some ice skates, man. And they oh. cutting on the down. They bending and they doing the and one stuff with the skates and playing with the stick. Ooh, woo! <laughs> they athletes now. But then it, the thing about it too, if you if you get them on real grass, they can't run and cut to save their life. <laughs> it ain't the same, is it? Well, I guess that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't stop. You know, you couldn't stop on a dive before you hit that wall either on some skates. 
Scrape, my feet, my feet too fat anyway, too fat and wide yeah, to put on some skin. Yeah, yeah. What size shoe you wear again? I'm a 13 and a half double D double wide, baby. <laughs> 13 and a half. I didn't know they made 13 and a half. <laughs> when you got no, these no, wide no. ghetto feet, man, you got these wide ghetto feet. It, it's terrible over here, brother. Trust me. <laughs> Flintstones. I remember oh, your feet. Man. We used to get our feet tape, our ankles tape. I'll never forget your feet. <laughs> Yeah, left a, left a scarred me for life. Look, <laughs> Adam Nightingale is the finals for Coach of the Year, as you said. And Art Levjanov is uh, up for the Player of the Year, as well as Trey Augustine. Man, we got three people ready for the top three awards. He's up for the Gold Tender of the Year Award in the Big Ten. I mean, there's all kinds of finalists there. And guess what they're doing on Saturday? I mean, look. They're going to host the Big Ten Championship, and it's in Mun Ice Arena. Look at that. Give me a jersey. That's this Saturday? Saturday at 8 o'clock. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bring it on home. Bring it on home, T.A. Oh, and against that team, you got to do what you got to do with them. Oh, man, we hate them. Hate. I got a speech for them on Thursday. Oh, look. Adam Nightingale was selected as the Big Ten Coach of the Year after leading the Spartans to his first regular season title in program history. How about that? Art Levjanov was named Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year. Man, how about that? How about that? Hot off the presses. My first year watching hockey, MSU hockey, being consistent, and I knew he should have been the Coach of the Year. <laughs> and the people voted for him. Oh, come on, man. Thank <laughs> God for the people. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's huge. That's, that's huge. good stuff right there. <laughs> Win coach of the year. Thank you, Steve Manning. We got it. Plate pass for Swerve's jersey. Everybody pass. Hey, we got it. Yeah, we got jersey cover too. They work oh, on the come on, baby. Matter of fact, I take this one off right now, Sprite. Uh oh. Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor said that's why he ran a four five eight instead of four five seven and wide feet. You may be right. You may be right. <laughs> Blame the project when I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to walk outside with no shoes on. It ain't my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault at all, man. I mean, talk about the projects a little bit, man. How is it? it where, what, not the pork and beans. What is it? Yeah, Down there, got Miami. We got so many. We got the pork and beans. We got overtime. We got the new buildings. We, we everywhere you go, we got we got we got projects everywhere, baby. But everybody talked about South Beach. You know, Tony Montana. You know, I mean Versace and all the beautiful, you know, scenes over there. You didn't live like that. No, no. You know, it, it was one point of time. I was on. I was on another podcast where I, I learned that. We couldn't even go to South Beach by like in the in the mid seventies. Really? Yeah, they wouldn't let you over unless you was working. Really? So you you get a lot of like that's like spring break right now, right? You get a lot of Miami or uh, natives or whatever you want to call them. Don't even like going to South Beach no more. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. Nobody goes over there. It's played out. Nice place to visit, but you don't want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't the only beach we got straight. Come on, baby. I got, oh, I I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna show you. I'm show you all the beaches when you come oh, back. I know that ain't the only one y'all got at all, man. Hey, look, you know, look, I, I gotta, I gotta tell everybody. Look, we got a, we got a special guest, you know, coming up here. He's been waiting, you know. Swerve and I did this interview. Obviously, we did this interview a couple of hours ago because he's a busy man. But we want you guys all to hear what Andre the Great. Hudson had to say after these messages from our friends over at IHOP. IHOP. Mm -hmm. IHOP has tons of omelets, so you can have omelets for breakfast, brunch, dinner, or even a brittle of the night snack. Try the new meaty, cheesy, and crispy mega omelet and add cinnamon dippers for a dollar only at IHOP. Man, that omelet look good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cal's a man. That's who, hey, that's IHOP. That's the sponsor. Ooh, that. And he dropped 1999. How about that? 
passing the collection plate around Ooh. all the time with the plate, plate full of stacks. Everybody dropping the stacks in the chat. I love it. So we got shows on this show over. I'm going out. Times get better. What? Soon this show over, I'm going now. I, I want to get down. I'm, I'm gonna send you a picture, Trey. <laughs> Please I'm do. Get me, I'm going to get me one. Yeah. All right, man. Look, we're not gonna wait any more time. Waste any more time here because we got to get to the man right now. Can we just get it rolling from the people in the back? Let's roll. Say it now, man. It's the moment of truth, baby. We're gonna be joined by an MSU great. Graduate of Trotwood, Madison, in Trotwood, Ohio, where he went on to earn a scholarship at Michigan State, where he played power forward center for Tom Izzo, and he was a key contributor on the 2000 National Championship basketball team that beat Florida down in Indianapolis, my hometown. Y'all did it. It's great. It's great. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. One thing I learned, you know, been coaching since 2005, once I retired. This dude we're about to bring on, he was one of those dudes, where, what, what you call, uh, bring your lunch box to, mm. to, pra to practice and to the game. That's right. You know what I mean? I, I didn't know that then watching when I was on campus, but looking back at it, and I knew we was having him on, 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 on the show, he was a lunch box type of guy, you know, smooth talking, quiet, handling his business, just went to Bobby doing the way, right way. I can't wait to speak to him, man. I ain't seen him in a while. That's my guy. I know, man. Everybody's looking forward to seeing him after his 10-year illustrious career overseas, being an all-Greek league and all-star player. Man, let's introduce the one and only Andre Hudson joins us as part of MSU. What's good, baby? What's up, baby? Oh, man, I'm good. I'm glad to be here, man. Glad to be here. How you fellas doing? Doing great, man. Like, good to see you. And, you know, like, we got to catch up and find out exactly what's going on with you right now, but we're going to take it all the way back a little bit now, you know, back to Ohio. You was born in Dayton, right? Yep. And, you know, so what, what got you in, you know, because I know you wasn't born six foot eight. Yeah. What got you into playing the game? Yeah, I started playing sports when I was young, man. I, I uh, like you fellas, man. I was big into football, man. I started playing football back in third grade. Um, played all the way through high school. I actually got recruited pretty heavily uh, playing football. My matter of fact, my, I tell I tell Antonio this all the time. But my first letter that I received in any sport was from Coach D'Antonio. Uh, he was an assistant coach at Michigan State at the time, my freshman year, and. Uh, he just, you know, he's probably sending out a thousand letters, and I just happened to be one of them. He's the first one I got. And then uh, crazy stories. When he was coaching at Michigan State, I ended up moving down the street from him. I was like next door neighbors with him. So uh, I was like, "Damn, coach, you was the first person to ever give me a letter, man." Now I'm living next to you. That's uh, funny how how things change. But wow, but yeah, I was in, I was in the sports, man, uh, my whole life as a young kid. Played football, played soccer, uh, hooped. You know what I mean? Once I got to high school, I got you know I was like six five, six six, and I played quarterback. But I started having them, uh, the, them fears that if I, I could go to college, they may stick me on the line somewhere. You know what I mean? Them quarterback days may be over with. You know how they do. So <laughs> I'm going to stick to this, this hoop dream. You know what I mean? Put this work in on the, on the basketball court. And it, it panned out for me. It worked out. So I'm, I'm happy with how things worked out for me. That's awesome. Swerve? Yeah. Hey, huh? If you played quarterback, yeah, you made the right decision because oh, you, you, you couldn't there you couldn't you play quarterback. Well, we were trying to win the championship. I'm glad you played basketball, man. You know what? Uh, while you while you joking, when when y'all left, Bobby Williams tried to get me to come out and try out in uh, spring practice. Yeah, but that was like for that movie, you know, like the longest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. That's how bad things got for a minute. Yeah. Hey, man, man, tell me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I was, I was watching the game uh, a couple of days ago, man. We had, we was in a dog fight. We gave Purdue everything they, they, they wanted and needed, and just to be short, come up short by five. I mean, we really couldn't stop the big dude. I think he had what 28 straight, 28, 12, and eight or something like that. And then no fouls, by the way. But we gonna get it. <laughs> But the thing about it for me, I, I like we say, we always it's tough for us in, comp, in conference because everybody know everybody. You know, you play them twice, how many times you play them a year. 
But I, I think I think I like our chance. I know we got a tough one coming up, but how you feel about you know? Tell us about that last game and what you think about us in the tournament. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm feeling the same way you feeling, man. I think the boys is playing better for sure. Uh, Purdue's a tough. That's a tough matchup for us. Uh, he, uh, my man uh, Edie. Yeah, it's a matchup for a lot of lot of guys. You know what I mean? But um, now that we're getting out of conference, I feel good, man. I feel good. I think we play Mississippi State, which you know, I, I don't, I don't think our boys have any fear there. And in North Carolina, being a number one seed, I think if there was any number one seed to face, that that would be the one. You know, what I mean, that would be the one I would want to play. You know what I mean? We got to go down there to Charlotte and their territory, but still, I like that matchup. You know what I mean? We got a lot of talent. We got some great guards when they come to play. We, they can match up with anybody in the country all day. So, you know, a lot of us is going to be our bigs coming to play. You know, that's a big, that's a big part of our game and what we've been, what we've been hurting this year. You know what I mean? We got some, we got some young, some young dogs out there. I like to see his go ahead and throw them out there at this point. You know what I mean? Like we ain't got, we ain't got much to lose now. Let them boys play and, and see, see what, see what happens. On that, like, what is it? You played for Tom Izzo, obviously you win a national championship with him. When you see the lineups, you know, because we don't—I don't know basketball like you would yeah. know. What? what oh, me? Yeah, I know. I, I play. I know. I know you you know, 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 know nothing about basketball. But. <laughs> what prohibits? You know, because all the fans are like, why is not? Why is Booker not playing more? Let's just yeah. call it what it is. Why? Is, yeah. Why would he hold him back when he seems to be doing so well in games? Yeah, I, I smash. I don't have that answer either, bro. <laughs> okay. you know, he's a very talented player, and I, I think the biggest thing is just his strength. You know what I mean? Coach Is is big on toughness. He was like that when we were there, and he's been preaching that for 25 years since. You know what I mean? If you if you don't show a toughness and a grit in your game to some degree, like it's going to be hard to play for him. And I think that's something that Booker has just been really trying to figure out in his own game. You know what I mean? He's a very skilled, talented, big kid, but he's not a very physical kid. And so – you know, it's the sooner him and Izzo can kind of get on the on the uh, even path as far as where they want him to be, I think Michigan State will be better off. But you know, as long as Iz is still expecting something that he may not get from him this year, you know, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be hard to get him on the floor. You know, personally, that's kind of how I see it. Man, so yeah. you know, you know, as a former, player, you know, you you can't see it either. That's interesting. You know, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard to see. I don't know. <laughs> You know, Swerve, what you got? Listen, you you missed. I think you missed at the beginning when he said he was he was next door neighbor. No, I didn't miss that. <laughs> there you go. That's so, so all I'm saying. Hey, we, hey. we got we got some spawn dog with some money, man. <laughs> right. Hey, so I mean, he went in the project. I mean, he went in the project. Right, so what I'm saying, I don't know if you know straight, straight, straight. Hut got he got he got some gym, and I've been in the gym lately. I'm just trying to see if he needs me to do a commercial or something. I can take my shirt off. Dre, take, look look at me, Dre. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, swear. Uh, uh, no, but he got some gym. I've been in the I've been in the gym lately. That's all. If he wanted me to do a commercial or something, man. I've been trying to get some NILs off the ground. You know what I mean? Some of these uh these state athletes a little bit out of my budget though. You know, you might be more yeah. in my budget. Swerve, I don't know. Like, hey, matter of fact, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a ninth grader. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> easy. Uh, easy. He cheap. He cheap. <laughs> yeah, tell, me about you, tell me about your gym, Dre. Huh? I'm, I'm proud of that. Man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Conquest Fitness. Yeah, Conquest Fitness. We're doing big things, man. It's been it's been doing real good. I had this gym now since 2012. I've been in the gym business, so 12 years, I guess, has been at this point. Uh, it's been going well for me. I, I I'm on my second location. I had I originally had two locations. I had to shut down my first one after COVID. Uh, COVID hit pretty hard, but. I built my second one right before COVID hit, and uh, it's doing really well, man. We were out here just north of Lansing in uh, DeWitt, Michigan. Mm. Place stays packed, man. Our parking lot's full every day. You know I mean, I can't complain, man. It's been it's been real good, and we we're doing a lot of stuff out here, man. We got your general fitness, cardio, strength equipment, but we got seventy five hundred square feet of uh, turf, field turf. So we're doing athletic training. A lot of kids come out here. A lot of college athletes are coming out here to train. Uh, I got a physical therapist in the in the space as well. Um, she got she has forty five hundred square feet of space. So I got you know wow. we got the full gamut out here, man. It's a it's a it's a good operation. Ooh, so yeah. lifetime fitness ain't got nothing on three. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got the lifetime out the box, baby. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. 
Yo, do we had a do we have a business page up? We can show it. Uh, I don't know, see. Do you? I mean. I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Show me some love, man. Pull that website up or if something. If you don't man. got it, we gonna get it. <laughs> I know y'all got it. Y'all got access. Y'all no, no. doing things on a real high I'm level over here. Just, I'm just to get on. In my ear telling me, okay, there it is right there. Oh, there you go. Ooh, oh, 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 look at that. that. Mama, look at his grass. Mama, look at his grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked that on a good, a good Saturday evening. You know what I mean? That grass looked in there. Some photos. Oh, 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 man. That's oh, good man. stuff, yeah, man. man. Yes. You got the boxing bag. I mean, the heavy bag, all the. Yeah. Treadmills and stairmills. Yeah, yeah, we, we got a lot going on in here, man, for sure. It's uh it's been a good operation. Those are some of my partners right there. We got the physical therapy. I got some uh couple different training groups in here that that uh provide the personal training and the sports performance training for me. So it's uh you know, we got a, a group of uh people that do fitness classes, so your yogas, the spin, uh Pilates, all that type of stuff. We we got it all, man. We got it all. Uh, we got all 40 yards, 40 yard dashes and everything in there. Yeah, we got we got we got 43 yards, you know what I mean? We got yeah, the ground floor to lift up, lift up for the for the runoff. <laughs> so we're doing all that in here too. Y'all have Ooh. steam room too, Dre? Yeah, we got the steam room. We got the steam room, the nice locker rooms, we got the smoothie bar. Oh, that's it. Like I say, man. Got everything we, except a happy ending, man. I like this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> we don't need none of that. <laughs> no Robert Crab. Crab ain't coming. All right. Oh, man. man that's nice, man. That's yeah. first class, there, brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. I definitely got to get love, to make man. that out when I come back up this this year, man. Oh, uh, man. You're yeah. welcome. Every, any day, man. Any day. Y'all, y'all, y'all got the, uh, the Spartan Dog Pass. You know that. Oh, man. Okay. You don't need oh, that. Yeah, Dude, you know I that. come in the door, I'm going to let them know. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> Y'all call Drake, man. Nobody <laughs> believe that shit. Yeah, you swear they ain't going to tell nobody nothing about who he is, where yeah. he's from, or what he deserves. None of that. Right, yeah. right. That's, that's the definition of humble pie. Yeah. <laughs> so, Drake, man, talking about your career at Michigan State, obviously, you know, what was the most impactful thing in your mind? You, if you look back to Michigan State, like what was the biggest memory that you had playing with those guys on that national championship team? Uh, the brotherhood, the brotherhood by far, man. The whole Spartan dog theme, you know what I mean? Just knowing it's, it's, it's greater than me, you know what I mean? That was the biggest thing. I came up to Michigan State not knowing a lot about Michigan State. Um, coming from Ohio, you know what I mean? I wasn't, I didn't watch a ton of Spartan hoops or football for that matter coming up. But once I got there, I, I really embedded the brotherhood that was that was up on that campus and it wasn't just with the basketball team man it was even with the football guys man it was just uh all athletes across the stage man it was just uh it was a family atmosphere that you know i'm still enjoying to this day you know what i mean all, all the guys on my team from that national championship team you know i think it was maybe 15 of us there's not one guy i don't speak to to this day and that's that's a testament to our our group our unity our uh commitment to each other you know that we made back then and it's really stuck through and through over the years, which has been awesome. It's been an awesome thing. Do you ever get back to the, some of them? Uh, what's that? The, the, the days where everybody gets in the gym and plays. Uh, you know? the, oh, the um, hell the week. grind week, grind, grind week, not yeah, hell grind week. week. Yeah. yeah, I was up in there this. I was up in there this year, standing in the corner. You know what I mean? In my, <laughs> my, my hoodies and my my uh, casual loafer zone. You know, I wasn't hoping, but yeah, they they get after it, man. It's a good time. It's it's just another representation of the brotherhood that we have here on campus, man. We get, I mean, it probably was this year, maybe 200 people in the gym. You know what I mean? Not all playing, just guys just, stay, I mean, it was stay in the room only. It was crazy. And, uh, you know, they probably had about 20 guys, 20, 25 guys back, back in the house hooping. And it was a, it was a good time, man. It's, uh, Coach Edge does a really good job of keeping our family tight. You know what I mean? We get together every year, whether it's for that, we get to his house. For reunions every year. Uh, Matt Ishby, one of our dogs as well, he, he gets us down to his house once a year. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're talking about doing it big. Yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> he, only yes. building, he only building something next door bigger than what he had on right. next door. <laughs> With his own basketball court downside. Come on. Man. Damn, I mean, man. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but, you know, the good part is I get to bring my kids to his house. Mm. You know, I'm seeing everybody else's kids, and um, the family just grows. We just growing, man, and, it's, and it don't stop. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what I love. It, it doesn't stop. So yeah. Imagine we go back and, and have a flag football game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man. They was trying for a while. All kind of blown hamstrings, you know, full hey, got I couldn't, 
won't, won't be no more swerving than me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get in the grind week? I was going to ask Trey to see if he can put a word in with him and get you out there to run next year. I got nothing to prove no more. <laughs> oh man, I used to go. T, you know, TJ used to have a uh, flag, uh, flag yeah. event. Man, I used to love that. Man, TJ yeah. can't you know, play right now. <laughs> TJ can't play. No, I, I can't do. play. Plexico got a little pause. It's over. Nobody. <laughs> Only person probably can play right now is Gary Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right about that. Hey, Dre, I, 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 I know you say when we talked last week, I know you say you were doing something with your kids for uh, playing basketball. How, how's that going? Yeah, it's going good, man. So I got a I got a travel basketball program I run here in Lansing, too. It's called Quest Basketball. I kind of branded that after mm. uh, my, my gym, Conquest. And I've had that for 14 years, I believe, now at this wow. point. So um been doing that for a while, doing great. We, you know, I, I got – Kids, fifth through eighth grade, boys and girls, are kind of travel around the Midwest region. I coach, you know, get hands on. I coach a couple of teams myself, but uh, it's been a good experience, man. It's kind of my way of giving back to the community and and, and uh, teaching some of the, the kids some of the knowledge that I learned over the years. Uh, I started my own. Ki- I started the program with my own kids. You know, my son's a junior now, and uh, my daughter's a freshman, and coach them both in the program, and they're they're both having really successful years in high school right now. My son's a junior. You know. I'm, I'm like, hold on, hold on, Trey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, we, yeah. we got, we got, we got a video of that. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, what you got? What you got? Yeah, y'all want? Come on, come on, Trey. Man, man. Man. Hey, this is a little tough. Let's see. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Okay. Let's my dad. Come on, right here. That's my dad. Yeah. Right <laughs> <laughs> that's my dad. Right yeah. 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 Yeah, so, he's, so my son's in East Lansing right now. You know, I stuck around in the, in the area, and he's like I said, yeah. he's a junior man. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, get him onto that next level as well. And you guys know about that, man. This it's a process, and you know, I, I've been really proud of him being here. You know what I mean? Like, swear, you back home, and I don't know how it is how it is for you back there, but being here, like embedded in East Lansing, uh, it's been a lot of pressure, and a lot of. Not just for my son, but also Tober too. As you saw that highlight, uh, KJ KT son on there, KJ Tober as well. You know they get a lot of media press. You know just the fact that they are sons playing in East Lansing, and, and um, you know it's been fun to watch as a parent. But I do, you know, I'm, I'm trying to push them to keep their heads straight. You know what I mean, and try to really work work what they can to get to that next level. Mm. Yeah, Dre, I'm trying to push mine to get the highest uh, NIL deal so he can get. <laughs> hey, he's talking all that mess. He got, he got one at Stanford. Nah, man, I know. I know. I'm trying to get to college. He's talking about NIL. I'm just trying to get my kid a scholarship, man. Listen, <laughs> all I'm saying is all the sacrifice that I've made and all the money that I get, I, I kept receipt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kept receipt. Just, 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 just give me some half of it back. That's all I'm asking. Half of it. Dre, uh, your son is getting recruited. I saw he got offers. and I mean, he's a guard, right? Yeah, he's a he's a small forward. You know, he's still okay. working on his guard skills. He's got a good size. He's about six five, six six. Yeah, mid major offers, but he's starting to pick up some interest from some of the power five, six schools. So I'm hoping this spring, summer, uh, he can really start to narrow some of his choices down and hopefully, you know, make a good decision. Hey man, look, I know a guy in East Lansing that should be thinking about the pedigree, right? You know, uh, you know. Yeah. Talking, <laughs> talking about is how much time? How long do you think it is has? Do you think he can coach another five, ten years? What do you think? I, you know what, man, I, I talk to is a lot. He's definitely getting older. You know what I mean? Yeah. He'll be the first to admit it. You know, I mean, he knows it, but and he's looking older too. <laughs> he's looking older too. But I tell you what, man, that, that dude lives and breathes this game, man. I don't know what he would do without it. To be honest, like I, yeah. I'm sure he could retire this year if he wanted to, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he can do it. <laughs> the mm-hmm. man is so embedded into the sport, and he loves it so much. He loves the university so much. Um, I, I I don't see him retiring anytime soon. I really don't. Yeah, you know, you're looking at the great – his one of his good friends, Nick Saban, retires. You know, it looks like they're going to reconfigure the NCAA and all that and make him the, the czar or the commissioner of college football in a minute. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's a role for Tom Izzo in the future. He can, hey, you hey. know. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know. And Saban done a lot, man. You know, I mean, I got to give respect to the man for sure. Oh, but uh, yeah. yeah, the game definitely caught up to him. I think he, 
we got to a point where he was like, yeah, I can't do this no more. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. He lost his title. It's where we're yeah. calling Jesus, Jesus Christ, what he was, Tuscaloosa. <laughs> that what they called him now. I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just saving to me, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's how they treat him. That's how they, they treat love him. They him down there, brother. Yeah. nothing like it. I mean, he don't open no doors. He walk on red carpet and everything. Mm. <laughs> Man, yeah. he, he, hey, hey, you see, he got a guy behind him holding his water. <laughs> holding water. You know, on the coach, you know, on the coach, the coach got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they love him down there for sure. Uh, but but the game definitely caught up. To, I mean, not to him, but just with all the changes. Like you talk about the NIA and the transfer portal, man. It's that's 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 a game changer, man. What do you think about that? All the changes with the NIL and transfer portal. I'm good with the NIL all day. I mean, pay these kids. Like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to get paid out too here in a couple of years. <laughs> we be putting in these kids, but, it's a lot. but the portal, you know, it's, it's tough, man. Like I, I do understand. Like kids do need that right to be able to be in a position where they are happy and feel like they're in the best position for them. But it just puts the universities and coaches in a pinch, man. You know what I mean? Like they, they have no, there's no certainty that a kid's gonna be there <laughs> year to year, and that. That makes it tough to to build a program. Yeah, you know I mean? great. It's the same way. Like I said in the, in, the, in the episode before, you don't know if a coach gonna be there. That's true. That is very true. And that's why I say it's, it's fair for the it is fair for the players. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, they're making it fair for both sides. Um, but but at the end of the day, I think it is hurting the game to some degree. You know what I mean? You don't have. I mean, your traditional powerhouses are getting they getting divided up a little bit more, and it, it's not the worst thing, but it just creates a lot of uncertainty for sure. Mm, man, you know, thinking about the uncertainty, you're talking about coaches moving. We got to talk a little bit about the school down the road for a minute. And mm-hmm. you have a house divided, right? Michigan, Michigan State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> yeah we won't talk about that, though, in our house. All that stuff got burnt a long time ago. <laughs> you step, you agree, yeah. you're smart now for life. Smart now, baby. <laughs> man, you saw Michigan move on from Jawan Howard. What do you think yeah. about that? Yeah, uh, I mean it's tough, man. You know, what I mean? like he uh, he put himself in some tough positions. I know he had a lot of people speaking out against him, like in his own house or in his own camp. Which you know, you get you get disruption like that, it's gonna be hard to stick around with for your job. But um, you know, I, I grew up watching the Fat Five to be honest, and I was a fan yeah. of him, so I was happy to see you know when he got the job. I, I wish he could have done better, but. No, I ain't losing no sleep. I, <laughs> we'll find somebody else. <laughs> right. That's ain't no sweat. Yeah, ain't no sweat on my back. No. I so. definitely, I definitely like to see that. I, I'm happy. Like, I don't like Michigan at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Michigan at all. I'm good friends with Des Mile. That's my guy, man. But, you know, it's, that one Saturday, he can't call me and I don't call him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Yeah, there ain't no love down there. Right. But I, you know, I, I did like to see him get that job. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you see brothers getting uh, big time jobs like that. It's yeah. a big, deal, especially in college sports. Right. Uh, but like you say, yeah, I don't care less. He, yeah, he, I mean, he ran his course straight. I mean, he did. He got in the fight. He, yeah. You know, this and this. You got your contract. You play. You coach, get the chance. To coach both your sons. Yeah, brother, it's over. I mean, it's over. Yeah. congratulations. You know what I mean? Good job. Yeah, four, three to four million dollars a year. He, he right. ain't sad. Yeah, right. he ain't sad. They gave he'll three million. He'll find leave. another job too. He'll find another job. Yeah, in an NBA job. You yeah, have any aspirations? I mean, you're doing a phenomenal job doing what you're doing mm-hmm. in the community uh, with the travel basketball teams, fifth through eighth grade, which is I think you can do that forever. But did yeah. you ever get the coaching bug to maybe coaching college ranks or beyond? No, not really, man. I, I've seen enough from the outside to know that's I'm gonna stay mm-hmm. in my lane, and it's it's a different it's a different job. You know what I mean? It has a lot of requirements and a lot of uh, a lot of demands. You know what I mean? And I feel very comfortable in my position. You know, owning my own business, having the flexibility to coach when I want to and work with kids that I want to. It's I'm very happy in my, my position right now. Uh, college, I do love college sports. I love watching the NBA. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know they live lifestyles that a lot of people uh, can only dream of <laughs> to some degree. But um, but no, I'm happy, man. I, I, I do a lot for young kids. I love building the foundation in athletes. You know what I mean? If I can get them started, then I can sit back and, and hopefully watch them blossom one day. You know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Oh, great place to be. Now, talk about your time over in Greece, man. You know, no, he was over Greece. there with the real Spartans. 
Yeah, the real Spartans over there. They love me over there too, boy. They love the Spartans over there. <laughs> they <love> me, <laughs> I bet they did, Trey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Greece was Greece was phenomenal, man. All my all my experiences over there. I played overseas for nine years. Uh, I was in Athens, Greece for four. Wow, beautiful country. Uh, warm weather. Food was awesome. Right on the sea. Uh, Mediterranean Sea, so it was just really good life. Uh, I played in Rome for two years, Naples for a year. I was in Istanbul, Turkey for a year, which was a much different experience, uh, but still enjoying myself, man. It took me some time to get kind of get used to the different cultures and things, but you know, once I got embedded, man, I just really embraced it and uh, I got a lot out of it too. You know what I mean? It, it helped me look at the world in a different aspect once I once I did come back home. You know I, mean? I realized that, you know, the world is a lot bigger than what we see on a daily basis. I, I learned that when I first came to Michigan State, you know what I mean? When I saw a campus full of Caucasian people, you know what I mean? Coming from where I was from, it was, it was a much different experience. But even going overseas, you know what I mean? I got that I got that 10 times, you know what I mean? It's just understanding different cultures and, and the way people live, the way people eat, the way people speak, interact, you know what I mean? It just... It puts things in perspective from a worldly, worldly view, and uh, I, I'm very appreciative of it, for sure. Okay, you said Greece, Italy, yeah. and Turkey. Which one had the best cuisine, man? Oh, best cuisine? I, ooh, I mean, I, and I, I didn't throw in Russia, man. I try to forget Russia. Russia was, I was there for a year. That was, man, that was yeah, tough. Yeah, well, okay, they bring no oils over there like Britain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got in and out. I got in and out. Uh, don't, don't mention Russia on here. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was there too, but but um, and Russian food was terrible. But probably Greece and Italy. They they both had, um, yeah. You know I mean, the, the the seafood in Greece was. Mm. I don't know. I don't know I, I, you guys are into that, but then the pasta oh, and the stuff in Italy was awesome too. So, um, just just clean food, man. You know what I mean? You come back here. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's a different different way of eating over there for sure. <laughs> no preservatives. No, no preservatives. <laughs> preservatives. <laughs> yeah. They catch it right out of the water, put it on your plate, right? Yeah, yeah it's good, man. See, that's the difference between Dre and me. See? Yeah, what you I'm want? From, I'm from the hood. We're going to eat the food soon to come, you know, <laughs> the grease and all that. All that, huh? So it got to be, which is cool. That's yeah. like, look at his office, Dre. He's all in his office in his own gym, you know. So he got to have this, you know. He eat with the, the fork and the knife, and the, and the napkin got to be on. Oh, the man, napkin got to be on the napkin. Man, it don't work, man. Look at his hands. Look at his hands. You know, I can I can eat with these hands too. Look at his hands. No, come on. Hey, Dre, look, he talking about that with the fifteen foot ceilings behind. Hey, I know. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. Dre, Dre, do this, Dre. Look at this. Hey, I see a chandelier in that back corner somewhere, man. Baby grand pianos in the last one. Now look at it. I mean, come on. Oh no, I'm 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 at my next door neighbor house because my Wi Fi don't work. Uh, no, wifi. Next door neighbor, the little one. That's the pool house. You know, <laughs> what you showing your hands for? The, the callus? Yeah, like, tell Dre to do it and look how pretty his hands is. I mean, I mean, hold on. There it is. There it is. He got him. I feel like that cardio. You know what I mean? Get my sweat up with that steam room. <laughs> I didn't lift enough weights in my life. So. Yeah. Right, man. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome, man. Dre, it, it's yes, awesome to have you on here, man. You know, catching up with you. You know, what do you think is on the Spartans' chance right now? They got Mississippi State coming up in, a, what, two days? At 12 yeah. 15. You think that's going to be a challenge for them? They're going to be playing a nine. They're a nine seed facing an eight seed. You think that's going to be okay? And in North Carolina, you think yeah. that's that's the game? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a challenge regardless. I mean, it's an eight nine game. So Mississippi State, I haven't seen them much. But they they got to be decent. You know what I mean? If they're in the tournament, so. Uh, but I still like our chances. You know, Izzo has a pretty good record as an underdog. I think he's like sixty five percent of the time he wins. So that's right. Um, I think he likes that role. He likes that position. Uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of him and the players, for that matter. And it gives them a little chip in the edge on their shoulder. And that's what we're going to need to get through the tournament. We're going to play with the edge on, on our shoulder at the end of the day against everybody we play. So uh, going in there with that that attitude and that mentality, I feel good about getting out the first weekend. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really looked at the brackets in, mm -hmm. in its entirety yet, so I don't know where we go after that. 
But I did look at that first weekend, and I I will pick us to get to the Sweet 16. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, you got to do something about old Armando Bacot. Is that his name? <laughs> yeah, Bacot. Bacot. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The big boy. You know, get yeah. him out of trouble. Get him about there. Yeah, we struggle with big kids for sure, but he's, you know, he's kind of a, you know, he ain't seven four. Uh, no. E, big, no. You know what I mean? So I, I took my chances with him. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, I appreciate the time, Dre, man. As always, you are welcome to come back anytime. And me and Swerve are going to definitely be there. We got to do some workouts in your gym. I appreciate that. Please, dude, right. please come up in here. You oh, know what I mean? I'll get the cameras rolling. We can set y'all up in here if we want to. If y'all really want to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you got to do a show from in there. Oh, damn. Let's go. Out in here. Man. Huh? Okay. It's beautiful. Right. Ass. We're going to take you up on that. Okay. Let's do it All then. Right. Let's do All it. Right. I'm definitely going to take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Hudson. Yes. MSU legend. Man, appreciate the time, brother. We'll see you soon. Yeah, same here, Jace. I appreciate it, man. Say it. I'll see you Great. guys soon, man. Appreciate I'm you proud. guys. My brother, right on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what be, what's better than that? Spark hey. dog, man. Hey, one after another, baby. We got them coming. And that's the good <laughs> thing about it, man, being on this show and having those guys come and talk about the things that, you know, they experience and what they're doing now, man, is 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 great, man. You know what I mean? Like I would have never knew he had he had gems. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Where are they now, Sigmund? That's awesome. Right, you, 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 you're giving it to them all straight. If, if people just take the time and just listen, be patient. You're giving it to them. <laughs> be patient. Be patient. That's all. Uh, That was all right, man. I, I felt proud of myself looking at myself like that, man. But that was good, huh? You yeah, like that? Yeah. Watch, it's like watching film, ain't it? Oh, hey, man. man. That, that's beautiful. Andre Hudson, you know, we got to definitely get by that gym, man. Do some good stuff with him. That That's, I mean, this is what comes out in these talks, right? I felt like I was back in the walk, locker room watching that. I was like, man, that, that was cool. I like being in, in the audience for a minute watching this. Yeah, what you was, think, Swerve? Oh, uh, man, I was like a kid in the candy store over here. You know what I mean? Taking yeah. pictures of us and all that, putting it back on Instagram and all that. I was just <laughs> I was just having a ball, man. I was mad that it stopped. I know, I know. I and know, I was trying to read the comments at the bottom, man. I, I just love the support and the fans, man. You know, I, I've been away from everybody. You know, it gave me a chance to, you know, to relive. Somebody wrote something about Tennessee. Then we got a guy, somebody had, uh, I think it was Steve, or somebody got a uh, promotion, a warm business salesman of the year. So oh, yeah. now, if you want salesman of the year, that means you're going to get a bonus. And all I'm asking for. <laughs> he got you a, He got you some gear. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. See, see, it goes together. I appreciate you. Congratulations. Yeah. And let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's continue to be the salesman every year. <laughs> <laughs> Sale another year every year for Steve. Everybody cheers for Steve. <laughs> oh, uh, what's that? Cal's trying to go. Well, I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on in the chat. I'm not privy to right now. Swerving Beach Bum. I mean, they got you, man. Look here. I saw that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, you really? I'm gonna. I ain't got no problem taking my shirt off because I'm still. But I mean, <laughs> so somebody said said talk about itself. I mean, it's a talk. I mean, we talking. <laughs> I ain't got no problem taking my shirt off. I'm still confident in me. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I don't think. Well, hold on, hold on, Trevor. This is, this Hall, is Trevor, We got to talk about this one. I hope oh, Miss Hall is still I'm, cooking those collard greens. Look at this. Said, I don't think we should talk happy endings and show hands in the same show. No, when I said happy ending, see, that's the mindset. I meant happy endings. Like he had, he got everything in his gym. I was saying happy ending for us. Do you get a massage? You know, is, is people over there reading books to, to, to massage the mind? That's the happy ending for me. I don't know what you guys were talking about. And then I was talking <laughs> about these hands because Dre got pretty hands. My hands are messed up. <laughs> My hands are yeah. See, look, you got cute hands. Look at that. That's so pretty. Cute. That's pretty. Look, look at my eyes. Come on, straight look. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> they pretty. Oh. Yeah, really? so, so, so the happy really? ending stuff is not what you was. No, no, no. I'm talking because I go to Lifetime. You know, Lifetime got this room over here, that room there. You know, mental stuff. You know, that's all that is. Come on, come on, people. Don't, don't. Nah, I'm happy to be on the show. Don't get me booed off the show. <laughs> come on, TT. <laughs> oh man, hey man, hey. We gotta look. I love it. That was an outstanding interview with Andre Hudson. I mean, got to go back down memory lane with him for a minute and see what he's doing now. I mean, that's that's the power of having people on the show like this, man. Dogs, man. More Spartan Dogs. We're going to continue to do this. We got more Spartan Dogs coming up on Thursday. Now, we, we're talking about doing a watch party for the for the actual game at 12.15 on Thursday. We're going to stay on the lookout on our social media platforms for more information on that. Cause said me and maybe a special guest, a basketball guy. I don't know, man. Can you get Cleves? Can we get Cleves to come watch the game with us? He's gonna be at the game. He gonna have he over there. In, he's gonna be in Charlotte. So we got to get the, the 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 next guy. Somebody he watching the game. I don't know if you want to watch the game live with me, straight. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm talking. I'm gonna be big. I hope we got <laughs> no, no, no. That's what it's for. Oh, okay. Well, you want no raw and uncut? No, and we I don't put, want no. I can put some, even though it's Thursday. I can put some in the red cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man, we're cause we're wrong. what time we watching the game, bro? We're wrong. Twelve fifteen. Oh yeah, that's five o'clock somewhere. Let's do it. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Wait, no, it's only seven o'clock out there where Woody's at. I was gonna say, but that's the other way, right over there in the UK. I don't know where. In honor of where Andre Hudson played before, it'll be five o'clock somewhere when the tip off happens against Mississippi State on Thursday. We're gonna figure this out. Maybe we do a watch party, maybe not, but we're definitely gonna be on Thursday night because we're gonna have another Jam Fact show. We got another, got special guests, we got a lot of good stuff coming up, and I, I, I'm happy about it, you know. So, but we're gonna let everybody get ready to, to, to rest up because we got a big 48 hours coming up here in the next 48. Get ready. Get your livers ready, get your mind, your hearts, and your lungs, importantly, because we got to cheer the Spartans on the victory and get to that round of 32. And it's I'll go time, baby. It's go time. It's yeah. Izzo time. Yeah, Red Solo Cup. I'll pick you up. It's time to party. I love it. There it goes, Cal, for Cedric Swerving Irvin. I'm Jason Strayhorn. This is Sparta MSU. Have a good night. God bless you. And go great. <laughs>